Hello everyone, this is Mark with MHTAlerts.com bringing you your tropical weather outlook for today, June 29th, 2012. And we're taking a look at the Eastern Pacific right now, everything's pretty clear. But as we go into the Atlantic, we do have some updates I'd like to talk to you about. First one is the remnants of Debbie, which is uh, pretty much uh, gone. There's really not much to worry about Debbie. We do have a tropical disturbance right here though, and I'd like to talk about that. I'm going to circle it and it's a 20% chance of it becoming a tropical cyclone. And I'm going to read you the update here from the National Hurricane Center. It says a tropical wave located about 825 miles east of the Windward Islands is moving westward at about 15 miles per hour. Although thunderstorm activity has become more uh, concentrated along the wave as axis today, any further development of this disturbance should be slow to occur. This system has a low chance of 20% of becoming a tropical cyclone during the next 48 hours. So we're going to continue to keep an eye on that and just watch it real close. Again, it's a 20% chance right now, not really much to worry about. But I'd like to bring up the radar here so we can take a look at the radar loop together. Because there is something that I would like to talk about real quick here in the Gulf of Mexico. And as you see here, here is Debbie right here, which is not really doing much. And it's pretty much dissipating. And right here you have the uh, chance, 20% uh, chance of a tropical cyclone, which that doesn't look like it's doing much either. But as it gets into warmer waters and continues to move westward, there could be a chance of possible development. But right here in the Gulf of Mexico, we're taking a look at showers and thunderstorms that is building up and actually sending some showers and thunderstorms into Texas, which is kind of good news for us because we do need the shower and thunderstorm activity. So there is a possible chance over the next few days that South Texas could see some of that showers and thunderstorm activity move on in because of this disturbance right here. But I'm going to watch this real close again because it does look like there is a chance of it developing into a uh, possible subtropical storm or something like that. So again, stay tuned to MHTAlerts.com for the latest updates and information. I'll continue to keep you posted. Don't forget that we got the best radars there on MHTAlerts.com. Go check those out. And uh, we're also taking a look at uh, the radar here on south, off the South African coast. Got some thunderstorms that are building up right here that are just coming off and could possibly bring uh, the next few subtropical storms. We'll keep a very close eye on this. And we see some real heavy thunderstorms right here, and we're going to continue to keep a watch on that as well. So once again, I want to thank everybody for watching. Again, please rate, subscribe, and comment. And again, don't forget to check out the Facebook page at facebook.com slash Tracker. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.